Welcome back to Sunrise here at 647. During the month of February here at LEX 18, along with the Today Show, we're going to feature change makers in our community in celebration of Black History Month. Today, we focus on those making history in the Commonwealth. LEX 18's Dia Davidson brings us this conversation on making history with her one on one interview with Attorney General Daniel Cameron. As we begin the month of February and of course the celebration of African American History Month, we're talking about history makers. And in our state, we have a history maker who holds the title of Attorney General. And of course, that is Attorney General Daniel Cameron. Attorney General, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, happy to be here. Thank you for, for having me. I appreciate it. Let's talk a little bit about the significance to you of this first year, this marker of this first year. What has been for you the most significant? Well, uh, obviously, I, I wake up every morning and just grateful um, with the blessing and the opportunity uh, to serve as the 51st Attorney General here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky and uh, to have that moniker placed next to my name as the first independently elected African-American uh, to hold statewide office. Uh, it is a, a huge uh, responsibility, uh, one that uh, I take very seriously. Uh, and this past year was a, uh, a, a year of a great challenge, and, uh, but uh, also great opportunity. Uh, 2020 was a, a year of testing. Uh, but what I hope people will see is that in this role, we are always going to uh, be responsible uh, to the law and to the facts. But Attorney General, with all due respect, that is the one thing that especially the African American community feels that you have not fulfilled for them. And in light of last Friday on the 22nd, the filing of a petition for impeachment for you based on their feeling that you you breached their trust. You, they say, misrepresented findings, especially in the Breonna Taylor case. What are your feelings about that? Because that's going to be a part of your legacy. Well, look, I'm confident uh, in the, the, the team that we had working uh, with the grand jury, uh, the presentation of the evidence that was put forth uh, to the grand jury. Again, I understand that on these high profile matters, uh, that there will never be 100 percent agreement uh, when those decisions are made. And I take full responsibility uh, for those decisions. But my responsibility, uh, as I've said uh, from the very beginning, uh, is to the law and make no mistake about it. And I've said this from the beginning that what happened uh, in the early morning hours of March 13th uh, was a tragedy. Uh, and sometimes our law is inadequate to address a tragedy. But I'm confident in the, uh, the presentation uh, to the grand jury uh, and confident of the recommendations that our team made. There are so many little boys and little girls in the Commonwealth, teenagers, boys and girls, black and white and everything in between, who are looking at you and watching you as a role model. What do you feel is your obligation as a man, as a Kentuckian, as a black man in Kentucky to those children and to their ideals of what they can become in the future? I hope uh, children uh, of all ages and all races uh, will look at me not as a um, as someone to aspire to, but to inspire them to be greater and to uh, just keep pushing that ball forward. I hope that's uh, what uh, children see uh, by my time here as Attorney General. 